Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baharuka Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power, the Most High God, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Yahweh and other names. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior. The one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Jehovah, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the understanding of this truth, which comes directly from the Father in the name of His only begotten Son. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS, who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth pushing his gospel in all sincerity. Shalom to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking his truth. It's the brother Yaraya Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do this quick lesson. Hopefully it's going to be edifying. So the title of the lesson is going to be, as you can see on the screen, Louis Armington officially becomes a knight. So in this lesson, we're going to see what it means you know, becoming a knight. Well, first of all, as you can see, this image, that's the image of himself and his mom, you know, which his mother, I believe, is an Edomite, or the father is a Jake. So this is Sky News, and it says, Sir Louis Almington is made a knight bachelor by the Prince of Wales at Windsor Castle. So you can see that's him right there, you know, standing before the Prince Devil, so you can see this is part of the initiation program that they showed. You know, they gave him this medal of honor. And in the ritual, he gets presented with a sword. And you see that's him placing the sword on his shoulder, as you can see. And this shit is really satanic as, as fuck, man. Permit my Italian. Because, you know, this is what, you know, all these lost jakes, this is what they call success in this kingdom, you know? But the true success is, you know, working for the light, in which the light is the truth, and Yahweh Shah is the light, you know? But these people, they prefer to work for the darkness, you know? That's the, the left hand of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, which is Satan, you know? So as you can see, this dude actually, before getting to this position, he has done a lot, he has done a lot, for those people because this this um knight position is 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 a honor you know given to people who have actually worked for the service of the devils you know those who have kept themselves in use for the service of the devils and i believe um even anthony joshua was also honored with this degree of the of the knight if i'm not mistaken so these are actually those israelites that spoken of in the first book of Maccabees, chapter 1, you can start from, you know, I believe verse 10 or so, going down. Those Israelites who left Israel and decided to go with the heathens, you know. They made accords with the heathens to work for the heathens. And, you know, it's funny enough that right before, right before he was actually honored, you know. This is November 20th of 2021. It says, Louis Hamilton praised for defending. You see that letter right there, the alphabet people. It says, Louis Hamilton praised for defending alphabet rights during F1 in Qatar Grand Prix. You know? So he was actually an instrument for these devils. He was actually an instrument for these devils, you know, to push their, their wicked agenda which is that of um, the sodomy agenda, you know? You know what it, what it is, man. We don't really need to explain everything because our videos get clipped, you know? So he has done many other things too, you know, which you can, you can go read for yourself, but I have a lot to read, so I wouldn't go really that much into this. So he says, Hamilton wore a helmet featuring the pride progress flag a redesigned and more inclusive version of the traditional rainbow flag 
which this rainbow is a beautiful sign given to us by the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, promising us it was not going to destroy the world again with with um, water with a flood. That's after the the flood during the time of Noah. You know, these people took this symbol and turned it to 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 an abomination. You know, and emblazoned with the words, "We stand together." So this dude actually, you know, that's the helmet right there. You know. He stands with his people and, you know, he defended the rights. If you keep reading, it's, I believe that it said that, you know, he even, he didn't want to, you know, participate in the race because, you know, they weren't going to, they don't, they don't accept those people's rights in that part of the world, you know. So in order for you to get to these certain um, positions in society, like all your celebrities or your actors or your famous musicians and so on, they are all, you know, dying to get to this position, but they are lesser luminaries. And what he doesn't know is, it doesn't matter how much they, 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 they promote you in this satanic order. You know, you just remain a slave to, to, to these devils, you know. That's what most of these people don't, don't get, you know. Now, going back to the topic, you know, he was honored. Now, as you can see, this is a very satanic photo right here, which we're going to break down just uh, in a bit, you know. Before he gets to this, to this position of, you know, publishing this photo, because what they do is, this ritual is highly secretive, you know. They don't show it outside. All you can get about this ritual is just a photo. And this is the photo. You, you can't get more than this photo. But this ritual didn't start in this day. It started some days earlier, you know. He went through some, some ritual initiation at the night in which we're going to see what this, you know, these rituals are actually, you know. Before, you know, getting this photo posted and this is the highest you can get from such rituals. They don't go more than that, you know. That's the, the lost Jake right there, you know. He believes, you know, well... This um this position is going to you know is going to help him in certain parts of this society. It's kind of like invincible, you know. He's exempt from certain things that the, the 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 regular you know people in which we're not counted as humans by this devil's ruling, you know they get. You know he's exempt from a lot of things, you know fame and all that bullshit, all that BS, in which Yahweh Shai was presented with all this, but he refused. Now, let's read a little bit about becoming a knight. So, this is, this this website actually that I got this article from, you know, they try to, this, this, this is actually an insider, an insider, um, what do you call it? This is actually an insider website, you know, they try to, to censor certain things and make it look like it's a cool thing to become a knight and all these things, you know. But through the spirit, you know, we filter these things out. So it says, the knighthood ceremony. It says, the ceremony of knighthood usually took place during one of the great feasts. For instance, Christmas or Easter. And we know during Christmas, they worship, you know, the, the Saturnalia, which is a pagan deity. It has nothing to do with the birth of our savior you know our savior was birthed in in in, um, in spring you know it has nothing to do with saturnalia and easter we know it's actually dedicated to the queen of heaven you know it has nothing to do with the passover you know so they do these ceremonies in this high demonic festic periods and it says, and this ceremony was done i believe yesterday you know it says the ceremony may also be conducted on other special occasions such as the wedding of a noble or monarch the knighthood may be conferred onto a square let's see what this thing means it says a landowner attendant a man of high social standing who owns and lives on an estate in a rural area especially the chief landowner in such an area in which you know the nobles the queens and the kings of these monarchs that are ruling the world right now, they are part of the land owners of this kingdom, you know. So it says the knighthood may be conferred onto a square by a king, noble, the clergy, or even the 
squire's father if he were a knight himself so you see the person that is conferring this this thing is also a knight himself these are the real devils man you know there is no doubt about it we've done lots of lessons you know i did i did a short lesson you know showing you the initiation of the queen of england herself you know into the the the, the, the order of the druids which is actually pure satanism these people don't worship the god of the bible you know they worship satan himself you know they work for the left hand so and those who are still believing in these people that they are christians or whatever and we know that these christians of nowadays you know they have nothing to do with the true scriptures you know and it says the ceremony began with mass during which the priest would typically give a sermon about the duties and responsibilities of an of a knight and this mass you should get to understand what's the meaning of a mass i did a lesson already on this just go back and watch you know a few of the lessons i did back you know exposing these demonic devils worshiping and all these things you know this mass has nothing to do with with um, with the scriptures and this mass they do a lot of abominations you know they take the menstruation blood of of no just let me just quickly show you so you don't think you know we're making things up you know they just took the word black out of it you know now it tells you you see says the black mass is a ceremony typically celebrated by various satanic group it has allegedly existed for centuries in different forms and is directly based on a catholic mass so when they tell you oh mass you know it's a satanic worship man and this is what they do these are images of what they do you see child sacrifice you see um what is abominations man you know but the people are dead asleep you know they don't see all these things you know they believe this is what they do you can see this is exact if you keep reading down you see they get a woman on on the altar you know and the priest has his hands placed in her vagina they take the blood of her menstruation you know they sacrifice babies you know they drink the blood and that's you know that's what they do man there is nothing you know holy in this in this practice but you know the, the simp the simps you know they believe all things you know see there is one more image i want to show you before i move on you know the simple they believe all things they don't test anything you see this is what is intended by a mass you know in the ancient time you see that's the priest right there the abomination priest you know which all these people you know all naked but naked they have a a woman, a, a naked woman, you know, this is what they do, this is what the mass is, these people are actually sick, you see, they masturbate on the altar, and all this started, you know, during the time of, um, of, um, of, um, Antiochus Epiphanes, you know, when he came down to Jerusalem, you know, he destroyed the altar, and he profaned the altar, you should go read the book of, um, of First Maccabees, you know, this is when these people entered, you know, and they started, you know, pushing all their wickedness, their wicked rituals. And this has gone on because that's the lineage of the wicked, you know, when they got into power, you know. So you see, he says, um, where were we? He says, this was the ceremony during which the knighthood was conferred onto the square. The ceremony began with mass, during which the priest would typically give a sermon about the duties and responsibilities of a knight. You know, it says a sword and shield would had been blessed by a priest, would then be brought forward by the square sponsor and given to the Lord conducting the ceremony. After being presented to the Lord, the square took his vows and swore allegiance to his Lord. You know, so they don't swear their allegiance to the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, they swear their allegiance to their Lord, you know, those conferring that thing to them, in which 
these people confirming this thing to them, you know, they are actually high level Satan worshippers, you know. So it says the occult beliefs of the Knight Templars. It says the occult belief of the Knight Templars. It says the Knight Templar has been an order of legendary status living in, living on in infamy to nearly the same extent. While scholars and great number have studied this group of elite warriors and financiers, it is unclear to this day what is fact and what is mere speculation. Where they had a dedicated defender of Christianity or the they practice in the occult or both, let's explore. It is known that the Templars were formed approximately 20 years after the First Crusades and the fall of Jerusalem into Christian control in 1099. That history of the Knights, that's the book it's gotten from, it says, The Knights used the Temple of Solomon as their stronghold, hence the name Clyde Knights Templar. You know, so, you know, the elder apostle um, Gaba did a lesson, you know, speaking about um, King Solomon, you know, in the, in the later end of his life. It did a lot of abominations, man. It built altar altars to Moloch. It worshipped all the different gods of all these different um, nations in which it was commanded not to do. In which, in order to worship these deities, there are certain sacrifices you would perform. In which means that um, King Solomon, you know, was heavy into, you know, um, Satan, um, satanic blood sacrifices. He was heavy into... Um, child sacrifice was ed heavy into um, homosexualism, uh, homosexualism in which all these are the things that please those deities you know so in order for you to worship them you know you have to go through all these things and the bible records you know king solomon in the later hand of his life doing all these things worshiping these people you know so that's why these people they they, they, they take solomon as a point of reference you know they so heavily love solomon that's why they, they were after his temple and all those things because in the later end of his life he was heavy into this wicked occult that's why you know through the spirit if you receive this you should receive it you know he came back as yahweh shai because that that was yahweh shai that's the son of the most high and he paid for all he has done and also you know he was the perfect sacrifice for us so that's another lesson in which you know you can find those lessons online it says um, it says the knights used the temple of Solomon as their stronghold. So I just explained why they, they 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 were so attached to the temple of Solomon, and you know Solomon temple has a lot to do with the Masonic temples and all these things. You know, it says hence the name Knights Templars. That's where the name Knights Templars came from. He said one segment of the knights were elite soldiers entrusted with defending and expanding the Christian faith. Others were skilled financiers and architects, craftsmen. And, you know, this whole BS, you know, started by Jake. Jake was the one that actually formulated all these things. But then, um, these devils from, from the land of Khazaria, you know, who are actually the Edomites, the sons of Amalek, you know, they took over all this order and they took it to a next level till date. You know, they are in control of these orders, you know. So, it says... One segment of the night were elite soldiers entrusted with defending and expanding the Christian faith. Other were skilled financiers and architects, stroke um, craftsmen. It says the Templars reportedly excavated the Temple of Solomon, securing secret treasures until it was again lost to the Muslims some 17 years later. That's a bid in 1128. Um, says Pope Honorius II afforded the Templars great authority answerable to the Pope alone order of the knights templars so true to the adage power corrupt but absolute power cor uh, corrupt absolutely john acton it says the templars amazed treasure from not only the temple of the so of solomon but also from usury and looting order uh, and looting those brutally defeated in battle they became a force to be reckoned with throughout europe and as far as africa their mission seemingly shifted to Amass, amassing wealth and power castles church, churches and other strongholds were built throughout the vast area covered by the templars where treasures were hidden with deeply encoded clues relocation to keep outsiders from finding it you know so all these people when they built them all they were after was you know when um these devils actually infiltrated all these orders in which 
the 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 jakes that actually formed this order as they were devils themselves you know they were actually doing the bidding of the devil themselves so when these people you know got into power you know they were all about looting wealth and amass amassing wealth to themselves that's why you have these royal families that are ruling today they are rich you know the queen queen of england owns countries like barbados like nigeria like ghana like many other countries you know those are their properties you know they took they stole a lot of um artifacts from nigeria for a lot of wealth you know they would never return those wealth you know the queen sits on gold right there you know these people you know they had the the, the knights as their personal as a personal um soldiers protectors you know so he says allegation of occult practices he says the templars returned to europe in 1290 to rumors of their having turned away from their Christian vows and embracing the occult, even devil worship. It is unclear whether these rumors were true or whether they were falsified by rulers and clergy who were heavily indebted to and envious of the Templar. The extreme secrecy of all Templar locations, rituals, etc. added fuel to the firestorm of rumors. After all, if they were carrying out their assigned mission for God's glory, what did they need to hide? And that's a good question because, you know, if they, if they were working for the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, you know, all we do is enlightenment. We have nothing to hide. You know, the truth, um, the, the commandments are all plain, you know. If you want to come into it, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a deal between you and the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai. The the, the 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 right um the ritual that's meant to be done has been done by Yahweh Shai, you know, so you're just free to come in. There is nothing we hide in this truth, man. There is nothing we hide in this truth. So wh whoever is in any group or whatever that they hide things, they do things hiddenly and all those things. They're not doing the bidding of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. They're only doing the bidding of the devils. You know, he says according to multiple sources occupying the same area in Jerusalem as the Kabbalah. In which this Kabbalah, you know, um, before coming to this truth, you know, I started studying about the Kabbalah. And man, there is nothing as confusing as that BS in this world. You know, it goes around, goes around. And at the end of the day, the Kabbalah is just pointing you to the worship of, um, of Baphomet, which is the devil, you know, making yourself a god. That's what Kabbalah is all about. I also, I also was very close to becoming a, a Freemason here in Italy, you know. So I went for a friend, a, a rich friend, a wealthy Italian friend of mine, you know, he took me into this place, you know, where they were going to, you know, give you the first um, introduction into Freemasonry. And then we we're supposed to attend the, the initiation in which, you know, the spirit was heavy on me and I refused to attend the initiation. So you go get into this place, you know, get into this place, you know, I noticed that there were lots of prominent people, doctors, you know, lawyers, you know, all these people that you see in higher ranks of the society, they were all there, you know, there's lesser luminaries, you know, um, philosophers and blah, blah, blah. And there was something really eerie about that place, you know, that my spirit didn't just sit well with that place, you know, and the most I, how about Shemi Shai? You know gave me the spirit of refusing the next um, invitation that was going to be part of the initiation but my friend that actually took me there you know he remained part of that thing you know and he's there you know so he says um according to the uh, to multiple sources occupying the same area in jerusalem as the kabbalah adopted their practices kabbalah which predicts the torah mystical synthesis of pagan teachings prior to torah and judaism associated associated with sorcery kabbalah is just pure sorcery man you know me studying i still have books that i i wrote with my hands and studies that i made i still have them right here you know it's all sorcery it's just pure sorcery and that's what these people do it says for thousands of years the kabbalah has been a resource for sorcery and black magic the Templars engaged in research into the Kabbalah with the goal of acquiring supernatural powers. That's from the book Dark History of the Knight Templars. Those who believe in magic attribute their world success to magical artifacts acquired via Solomon and say that the Templars astonishingly raised, no, no astonishing, astonishingly rapid rise to power was due to their genuine black magic, use of godly powers or boats. So you see, 
um, these Knights Templars were heavy into Kabbalah in which in order for you to become a Mason, these are part of the studies you need to go through, you know. So it says, reportedly, and remember what the, um, you know, what the commandment is, you know, a witch or wizard is meant to be bond, man, with this part of what we're not supposed to, to practice, you know. So these are, these are, these are sons of darkness, you know. He said, reportedly, a former Templar, though Templars took oath for life, had made claims against the order for denouncing their faith, engaging in activities forbidden by the church, occult practices, and certain worship. During the te night's um, extremely secretive initiation rites, initiates are required to deny Christ three times, spit or urinate on, or trample a crucifix. This is from Encyclopedia Britannica, that history of the Knights Templars, you know. It says, there is no definite proof of def uh, devil worship, however, with demon images built into and within churches and other Templar buildings, many accept that they were devil worshippers. Templar studied Kabbalah, Arab occultism, many forms of magic and other cult practices. So, dear brother, Dear Louis Armington, you know, you're busted. We know you're a Satan worshiper. You know, it's not easy to get to that um, point of society where you are. Some people might think this is jealousy, but this is not jealousy, man. This is just pure love, you know, trying to inform the rest of our brethren who are aspiring to be like this dude right here or aspiring to get to certain levels of the society that men, be careful. That is Satan worship. You'll be destroyed for doing this. There is no light in that thing. These people have no joy, man. They get into that thing and they just destroy their lives forever. They don't expect what they actually expected to get into, you know. It says, The Templars were reportedly worshippers of Baphomet, referred to as some as a devil, others as a demon, others an idol. Underwood describes Baphomet as a demon with the head of a goat, whose image was later to become the symbol of the Church of Satan. So, you know, you can keep um you can keep reading you know so you see these templars actually they do the bidding of the devils you know and there is one more a few more things that i brought out you know it says um this is a lex um um lexicanum okay lexicon say a ritual of becoming this is a ritual done by the Templars. It says, the ritual of becoming is a key event in the training of an imperial knight. When a noble of knight house research, researches their, their 18th year, no, reaches, sorry, it says, when a noble of the knight house reaches their 18th years, they must undergo the ritual of becoming, an event that is viewed with the great honor and solemnity. Inside the house's sanctuary, they are connected to one of the vacantron mechanium, mechanicum, okay? They are then left typically for a full night alone. And this reminds me about the initiation of becoming, um, um, uh, what's that bush? This thing says skulls and bones, you know, it's part of the initiation. You're left into a dark, into dark, you know, there is a video circulating the internet that shows you. Um, part of the initiation in which that's uh, a lesser a lesser group that's under this um this night you know they are all they are all going back to themselves you know going back way back to the to the nights you know so he says they are left alone typically uh, for full night alone he says other there are other sources that tell you that they are left for three nights you know he says the young aspirant must wrestle with the energies of the throne mechanicum attempting to imprint their psyche upon it without being overwhelmed by its cerebral um, en engrams in turn. It says sometimes the process is enough to drive the aspirants mad, other times they are killed outright. Those who survive are forever changed. Their childhood left behind and the mantle of knighthood now resting heavily upon their shoulders. So in other words, you know, it tells you the sources from the Codex Imperial Knights, the 8th eighth, eighth edition. So in other words, it tells you that they are left alone throughout the night. They are terrified by different things and, you know, um, they take holds with their life, okay? If they go against the holds, their throats will be slit, you know, their, their 
genitals who are going to be burned, cut off and burned, you know, and all these things. So if you can survive that night, you know, in which many people get mad before that night, you know, overgoes, that's to tell you some wicked high level demonic rituals and, you know, they try to program you in... You, you get changed, let's say, after the, the initiation, you become another person, man. You become influenced heavily by the devil, the spirit of the devil, you know. You're just all about, you know, maintaining the hold and keeping your ground for the devil. You know, that's what this thing is actually. And I'll read. Um, um, yeah, so as I read, you know, this is part of... Part of the ritual that this this dude did in order to get to this position where he is now let's speak a little bit about this part of the ritual where he's is ordered uh he's given a, a sword and when i saw this photo it's really spiritual because you can see this is esau right here representative of the satan okay esau and this is his power you know he was given he was blessed this is his blessing actually he was blessed by the sword you know so he puts that sword on his arm. Um, is he on his right shoulder? You know, in which that represents, you know, um, fidelity to him. That if whenever he goes against that power, you know, he's going to be killed with that sword, man. You know, so he's actually give. He's actually, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? He's actually making an allegiance with Esau. You know, to 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 be part of that blessing of Esau's sword. You know. This is heavily spiritual, man. And you see, he has his, his kneel, he's knelt, he's knelt down to the devil and gets the blessing of, the same blessing of Esau, you know, denouncing the blessing that the Most High Yehobah Shem Yahushai has given him as a Jake. Now, he says, the symbolism of the sword. He says, the sword is a symbol of war, destruction, power, authority, and divine judgment. In occult philosophy, the sword is also related to wisdom and reason by the insur insurance is in issuance. Let's see what this thing are ah, the issuance that's to give to issue. Let's see the action of supplying or distributing something, especially for official purposes. That's that's it. You say it says by the issuance of your of your words with the tongue of your mouth. Quite simply, the word is used for cutting a foe, just like a physical sword can kill. Or maim your opponents, your mouth can issue sharp words that act like a sword to slay ignorance, lie, and darkness in the world. So, well, you know, you see, it's telling you, um, this is this is the this is the blessing that was given to the devil, Esau, you know, war, destruction, and power authority is given to him now, you know. So that's where this the sword actually comes in, you know. Then You can go read all this for yourself, you know. Now let's let's read this. Yes, it says, and this is part of the images you're going to see in this the Masonic temples and all those things. You know, I saw this when I got to that initiation program. It says, in one of the Masonic degrees, the sword pointing to a naked heart, which that's it is when the initiate is surrounded by a sword pointing at his heart in order to remind the Masonic initiate of God's avenging justice and the terrible punishment on the worker of iniquity that unless they repent and seek mercy ere it be too late. This ceremony can be found in all English and all many wild lodges in which the God that they worship we know is Baphomet, is Satan himself, is Moloch, it has nothing to do with the Most High, so um, you must you must actually go according to their beliefs. So those people who don't believe these people, like we, that we are in the truth, we are actually the infidels for them. We are the enemies, and they sort of different ways to slay us, to slander us, you know, and they will be coming heavily. We know. Now. There's something interesting here that I want to read in which this dude actually, you know, posted this, I believe is an insider. And it says, however, in the end, brotherhood consisting of royal elites, masons, knights, priests, and many other related orders must pound 
their sword into plowshare as it is said by 33rd degree Freemason and Master Resecretion Manly P. Hull who says this about him and his weapon. The Mason must follow in the footstep of his forefather Tubal Cain. So these people, their forefather is actually Tubal Cain. <laughs> you see, and that's the same spirit because um, um, Esau is the reincarnation of Cain. So, you know, these um, Masons, they believe their forefather is Cain, in which Cain, Cain is a mercenary, Cain. In the, in the um, Tubal Cain was the one that actually, you know, um, started building weapons of war, weapons of destruction. It was also a mercenary, a killer, you know, that's their forefather, you know. So, this brother right here, if he is still... Louis Hamilton, you know, he has actually paid his homage to the Satan, to the devils, you know. Now, he's a, he's a knight. He has sworn to do the will of his masters, in which their master is Satan himself. You know, they're working on the left-hand side of the Most High, Yahweh Shem Shai. You see, they made him, Sir, Sir Louis Hamilton is made a knight, bachelor by the Prince of Wales, that means Windsor Castle. You know? <laughs> and this took place, you know, exactly after, you know, exactly after, you know, he started fighting for the rights of the alphabet people. Now, let's get some scriptures on this and close up this lesson because there is nothing to, there is nothing to really go after these devils for, you know, these, these are actually doing the works of the devil. It's better to have nothing, to live in poverty than to have this whole riches and go after these devils, you know. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul, you know? If this is the way to go, man, then fuck that thing, man. Permit my Italian. So this is the book of Proverbs 4 and 14. Which quotes... It says, enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. It says, avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it and pass away. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. These people, they eat babies, man. They drink bloods of babies, you know. So this dude is, you know, <laughs> we're warned, man. So when the most high Yah Bashem Shai is coming to destroy, you know, the wicked Jakes, you know, in, 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 in Babylon the Great, the United States, two thirds of Jakes are going to be cut off, man. You know, the most high has a lot of killing to do because majority of uh, of Jakes, you know, our hearts is actually pointed in becoming, you know, a, a regular Jake is going to see such an image and be like, wow, this dude has... He has made it, man. He's at the top, you know. He's getting honor from the Prince of Wales and blah, 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 and all those BS, you know. But they don't know what's going on on the behind. They don't know that these people are actually selling their soul to the bidding of the devil himself, you know. Which this is pure wickedness to, to its eyes. This is the book of Psalm chapter 1. It says, the book of Psalm chapter 1, it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. You know, blessed is the man that does that, that, does, that does not walk in these ways, man. In order for you to become whatever in this kingdom, in order for you to become a judge or whatever, you know, in which, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? In which um, your future is actually written from the beginning by these devils, because when you get born into this society, you know, you're presented with a list of what you can become. Lawyers, doctors or whatever, um, artists and all these things. But at the end of the day, it's all in the service of these devils, man. They prepare you to be a good slave, a good servant for them, you know. So, and it doesn't matter any, any part of the society they promote you. You know, you're definitely going to get certain privileges but man, you're always working for these devils. You're always a slave to the devils, man. You know? And if this guy Hamilton doesn't repent, you know, willfully to the most high Yahweh Hashem Shai, he's utterly going to be destroyed and put to shame, man. Because he is pushing wicked agendas for these devils, man. 
It says, but his delight is in the law of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, and in the law that he meditate day and night. So these people, their hearts are not set to the laws of the Most High. Their hearts are set into Kabbalah, which is sorcery, witchcraft, man. He is actually being blessed and he becomes a wizard this day. Louis Hamilton becomes a wizard on this day, you know? And there are many people that he inspires, lots of young Jakes out there that he inspires, that are inspired to become like him. He is used as, as, as an instrument of destruction to these Jakes, man, you know? So you should you should be careful who you who you follow, man. You need to walk in the way of light, you know. This is the book of Job 9:24, in which this is a famous scripture. It says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, it covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who he, he, who is he? You know? This kingdom that we're living is given into the hands of the wicked, you know. There is no part of the of, of the society you'd want to you aspire to get to that is not controlled by the devils you know they control all industry the food the drugs uh, the everything you know the entertainment and all that bs you know myself i want i was going to i got a, a, a deal you know it's going to become a a, 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 a a slave to the devils you know but for putting the spirit in me to refuse man you know, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul, man? There is nothing good about his devils, man. This is the book of Proverbs. Chapter 1. Oh, I'll read um, verse 10. Which says, My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lock privily for the innocent without cause. In which this is what they do. They poison your food. They poison your water. You know, now they, 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 they're they giving you all this demonic, um, this wicked um, poking instruments, you know, the Vicky Venom, you know, trying to get you to go to bed with Vanessa, which is going to destroy your gene, you know. They have nothing to offer. So this guy, this dude, Louis Armington, you know, he has actually, you know, he has given himself to the service of these devils. So he's doing the bidding of these devils. It's part of them now. It's just one with them, you know. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave and the wall as, though, as those that go down into the pit. And that's their plan. Their plan is to reduce um, the population of, of humanity to, to 500 million, you know, which means, you know, killing a whole lot of people, at least about um, 8.5 billion people, man. It says, we shall find all precious substance, we shall find all houses with spoil, cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one pause, one pause. And this is what they do with this, yeah, with these um, uh, orders that they give, with these um, positions that they give, becoming a knight, a uh, thirty-third degree, and all this thing. You become one with them. We want not to do so, man. Verse fifteen say, "My son, walk not down in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their paths, for their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood." Oh, the scriptures are really powerful, man. It says, Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird. Because these people are spreading nets to catch us like birds, you know. They have set different traps, man. And all you all that are still in Christianity and, you know, still going all about doing your thing and believing that, you know, we're going to a certain normal. Man, next year is going to be a hell of a year, man. It's going to be a very slow year. <laughs> so you know jake is still you know planning to become whatever in his kingdom you know it says and they lay wait for their own blood they lock privily for their own lives so are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain which they get away the life of the owners thereof you know and that's what these devils are actually you know they have a lot of blood in their hands you know They've taken lands by force, 
they've done committed of multiple genocides you know and all fingers are pointing to these people right now you know now let me get a few more scriptures and i'll close this lesson down you know this is the book of proverbs chapter 4 you no know, the book of proverbs is heavy proverbs and psalms you know talks a lot about these devils man this is the book of proverbs 4 15 it says read i read from 14 I read from 13 it says take hold of instruction let her not go keep her for she is that life and what is instruction instruction that is this bible that we have you know some people break down the bible b-i-b-l-e as basic instruction before leaving earth you know this bible is our instruction you should take hold to it to sound doctrine take hold to sound doctrine you know forsake all these wicked doctrines christianity is a wicked doctrine because they don't follow the true power of the most high yahweh Hashem Shai. they pray to a to a to a pale pale skin deity known as jesus you know and if you go deep that is talking about zeus you know we know our savior is a hebrew israelite of the tribe of 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 judah you know he has a hebrew israelite name we've done multiple videos you know starting from the elders apostles you know of great millstone and the elders before them videos you know pointing you out to the truth but yet jake is still going to refuse you know i made a comment on a post some days ago you know someone posted something about you know this um renaissance image of the savior which is cesare Borgia. you know so i told them that you know that's not his true image and that wasn't his real name you know and guess what jake uh jake uh oh, oh pff, i really don't have the words man a donbass jake is going to be the first to to reply to reply and there is no color in heaven <laughs> everyone is the same you know jake jake fights for his oppressors man this is the stockholm syndrome Jake fights for his oppressors. He heavily believes that his savior is a pale skin, man. Even if the Bible is telling you different in the book of Revelation 1, 1 um, verse 1, 13 to 15, also the book of Daniel chapter 10, verse 5 to 6, telling you he's a dark skin um, person, woolly hair, you know? Jake doesn't want that, you know? He's been programmed to believe and worship the devil, you know? says avoid it pass not by it turn from it and pass away no sorry i skipped a verse it says enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of the eve of evil men it says avoid it pass not by it turn from it and pass away for they sleep not except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall so Hamilton has, you know, disobeyed the words of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. He is going to be destroyed. And all the same people that have done the same thing like him, that are giving in to the to the to the order of this knights and ten devils, you know. Anthony Joshua, I believe, also was honored with this degree. All these Jakes are all going to be destroyed by the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. They will be destroyed. You know one last precept and i close this lesson i still have many precepts but i'll just you know throw in one last precept book of proverbs chapter 9 and if anybody have any precept please just put it on the comment box this is the book of proverbs 9 oh i didn't write it well Proverbs 9, 6. It says, Forsake the foolish and live and go in the way of understanding. So you should forsake the foolish. Esau is a fool, man. You know, that's a vessel that believes he is better than, 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 in, than his maker, man. <laughs> Esau is a damn fool, man. And all these people that have been playing part of Esau, doing the bidding of Esau, they are all fools, man. Because they are all going to be destroyed. Can the porter say to his, to his maker, oh, um, you have not made me? 
that's just that fool right there, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, those powers that be, you know, they believe they are going to have a, a great reset and have uh, the world in, in a way that they, 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 they want to have it, you know, a new world order, uh, NWO, you know. But to their greatest supply, it's going, it's surprise, it's going to be that, that great reset is for us, it's for our kingdom. There will be a great reset and these people are going down, man. They're going into a hardcore slavery, man. No one is going to save them. And they're going to be over diet 113, man. So having said this, I hope this lesson was edifying, you know. To all those jakes that are still sleeping, you better wake up, man. This is not the time to be sleeping. This is the time to wake up, you know. Seek this truth while it still can be found. Because very soon we're going to be shut down. According to the book of Amos 8.11, this is the time you should pray to the Most High, calling on His true name, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, to send you the Holy Spirit, which is the Rukah Kodash, to help you get the understanding of this truth. Having said this, I hope this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Rukah Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS, who taught me this truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.